I know. Um, I just love the working class. They, who? Yeah. Um, I just love the middle class. Who? I love the upper class. Who, who, who are you talking about? And it's the same with this. Why, why, would we be, why would we be falling for this interpretation of society as depending solely or primarily on interest groups based on gender slash sex, sexual orientation, race, and a bit more? Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video titled Douglas Murray Explain What Walk Is in Three Minutes. Wow, I believe this is going to be an interesting one. Let's start with the video. Go. That they believe, for instance, that being a woman is, should be merely the first step in a wider mission to bring down capitalism. Now, I don't think most women are on board with that, and most women would be rather surprised to be utilized mm. in this fashion. Mm. But that is very clearly and explicitly, and I quote the, the various scholars and writers who've been pushing this for, for, for years, this is explicitly the aim. It's a basis for madness. Um, uh, when people say the gay community, who are you talking about? It's like women think this. Oh, really? 50% of the species all agree on something. Uh, blacks say this. Really? Mm. Um, now, this is, uh, let me put it another way. If, if somebody said, <laughs> I don't know, um, I just love the working class. Who? Yeah. Um, I just love the middle class. Who? I love the upper class. Who, who, who are you talking about? And it's the same with this. Why, why, would we be, why would we be falling for this interpretation of society as depending solely or primarily on interest groups based on gender slash sex, sexual orientation, race, and a bit more? Why would we be doing that? Why would we be taking the individualism out of individuals? and lumping them in these demonstrably incoherent bodies that don't even exist. They don't even exist. The LGBT community, take me to your leader. Come on. And it's why, as I say, you can always predict exactly who is going to latch onto the latest claim. When, when for instance, the big bearded man yeah. with male genitalia wins the women's weightlifting competition, you can predict with 100% accuracy who is going to say, yeah, what's the problem with that? And the people who are going to say, hmm, I'm not sure Clive the big weightlifter should be winning the women's category. You can predict it. And the people who say, why have you got a problem with that bigot? Are always the same people who believed in the past that our societies needed to be pulled apart in another fashion. And now they'd like to do it in this fashion. It has this hideous red interior which keeps exposing itself yeah. as desiring not, not a better relationship between ourselves and our environment, but for instance, the end of capitalism. Yeah. This new morality we're trying to construct relies on us pretending we know about things that we don't know about, trans and simultaneously demands that we pretend not to know about things that we all knew till yesterday. Wow, what an interesting answer from Douglas Murray. Just by the title, Douglas Murray explain what work is in three minutes video. Wow, we can all tell that Douglas is uh, an articulated person is very sincere, is very honest, and he always makes sense. He's not afraid to say the truth. He always stands for the truth. And we can all tell that uh, woke requires uh, the denial of objective reality. Those people, they know the truth. It's not as if they don't know the truth. They know the truth, but they try to uh, 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 or claim that everything is subjective, that there is nothing that is objective. And I believe that is totally wrong. That's what Douglas Murray is trying to uh, uh, educate us on this, on this video, that those people, they know the truth, but they don't want to accept the truth. 
uh, they tend to claim everything is subjective. When you know something is objective, uh, uh, ob ob objectively true, you tr they tend to uh, claim that it's subjective, that it depends on uh, your own point of view. Even when you know something is right, uh, they can make you feel like you are wrong because they believe everything is subjective in nature, that there's nothing that is objective. And this is what Douglas Murray uh, is trying to make us understand in this video, that those people, they tend to uh, deny reality. It's not like they don't know. It's not like they don't know it's true. They know they know the truth, but they try to make everything to uh, they try to make everything to be subjective. And I believe we as people living in a society, we should not accept everything. It's not everything we have to accept. It's not everything we have to accept. Most of those people they are suffering from uh, mental delusion. What they perceive to be truth is not actually the truth. And instead of us trying to uh, reason with them, trying to sympathize with them, it's better for us to uh, liberate them by telling them the truth. And the only way to liberate them by telling them the truth is by making them understand that what they perceive to be truth is not actually the truth. They are suffering from mental delusion just from uh, Douglas Murray's point of view and from the way I have understand what he explained that from the way I understand uh, what he explained as the meaning of woke, those people, uh, they tend to deny uh, the objective reality. You know something, something is truth, but you try to twist it the other way and try to sugarcoat it uh, in order for it to suit your purpose. And I believe we should not accept this. We should not accept this in the society. And... I've really learned a lot just by uh, listening to Douglas Murray. I also like to hear your view, your opinion. What is the meaning of woke? Keep the comments coming. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day.